Drivers divided! Still nothing. You do look familiar. Can't you give me a hint? Furong Motors? Interesting. <gasps> Are you the one who always brought her ferrets into work? No, I'm not. Then you're head chef, sous chef, saucier? Not quite. I was one of the senior engineers. Says who? Where's the evidence, huh? Show me! Hello? Boorong Motors ex-chairman Dr. Limo Kwan has become a lead suspect as slugbot numbers rise. The police have declined to comment... For Guys, Dylan can't find out. Good luck. It's on every single news channel. Huh? Hi, guys. Hey, why'd you turn off the TV? What's up? Uh, there's nothing on. Are you hiding something from me? No way. Why would we do that? Are you hiding something? Nuh-uh, not me. Then why are you two just standing there? Huh? Uh, someone was at the window. On the sixth floor. What? Uh, I... Oh, don't give us away. Oh, a bird. That's probably what it was. Really? Dolly, can I have my phone? Phone? Where? That's so weird. I thought I left it charging. Oh, man, where'd I put it? Wait, maybe it's in the bathroom. <gasps> no, nope, not there either. Poor little what? Dylan, you dear sweet boy. <gasps> Dolly told me what happened. Oh, there, there, now you'll be all right. I remember Angela now, and I don't like her. You heard me. I don't see why we need her here. She's the type of person who takes over all my ideas and then gets the credit. It's so predictable. She's going to try and steal the chairman job from me, too, you'll see. Well... I'm not gonna let that happen. <sighs> She'll have to do something pretty impressive to stand a chance against me. Besides, unlike her, I've already proven my worth to this company, right, sir? You will. I'm sending you on a little mission, if you can handle it. Is it top secret? Does it matter? Hold on a minute. I think I should point out something that you forgot. You see, there's a very good chance that I'll be your next boss. So... You'd better ask yourself, is this mission going to optimize all the skills that someone at my level has to offer? It requires a disguise and a strong acting ability. What? But if you don't think that's a good fit for you, then perhaps Angela would be willing to help me with it. I hear that she's quite ambitious, not to mention very hardworking. Oh, uh, never mind. On second thought, I'm in! <laughs> I'm very good with disguises. <sighs> the police are really interested now. Apology. I was alarmed. I thought that you were in danger. I know. It's not your fault. It's really complicated. You were confused. Question. Where are you going to go now? The police station. I haven't done anything wrong. I'll just explain. Then everything can go back to normal. Agreement. That is a great idea. I will drive you there. No. They think you're dangerous. They might try to take you apart. Just promise me you'll stay here for now. I'll work this out. Negative. I'm going with you. Defense. What? No way. Zero? You're staying here. Affirmative. Message received. I'm sorry. I wonder how Dylan's doing. I also wonder. <sighs> I should talk to him first, and then I'll go to the police station. Roll down your window, please. We're looking for this man. If you see him, please call us. Wow, that's a really big reward. <laughs> Whoever finds him is one lucky guy. Hey there. Uh, where can I take you? The hospital, please. Sure. Hi, this is Limo Kwan. Yes, is Officer O there? Yeah. I've got a coupon we can use for lunch. Good. You're doing the right thing. I'll see you very soon. Hey, are we going out for lunch now or what? That was Dr. Kwan calling. Hmm, he's on his way to the hospital. Oh, wow. Well, then why didn't you say so? Wait a minute. Limo was saying he's going to turn himself in. He needs a few minutes to talk to Dylan, so can't we let him? Are you kidding? 
That was a lie. We can't forget who he is. <sighs> when I think about those slug bots being on cars again, it makes me so mad. Hey, guys. Oh, hey, man. Huh? Well, did you ask? Will the chief bring back our frozen yogurt? Will he? Did you manage to convince him? It didn't come up. But I thought that was the whole point of your meeting this morning. We were talking music. Huh? You can't be serious. That and the paper cut I got. He gave me a bandage. <sighs> That's okay, right? Let's go. We can't get so distracted from our duties. I'm not taking any chances with Quan. Hang on, so you want us to take turns watching Dylan for a while? Yeah, at least that way he won't be alone when he hears the news. Oh, nice one, Ryan. You're a good friend, you know that? Corey's so lucky that you're his big brother. Hey, come on, he's only 10 minutes huh? older than me. Is Dylan awake? Uh, yes. Excuse me, sir. We need you to come with us immediately. And I'd be happy to. But first, I... I need a word with my son. Can't we allow it? It's not like he's going to get away from us. Don't take too long. Thank you. Ugh. That Come stinks. Come on, Dad. <laughs> hey, so I'm going on a little trip. Be good and listen to Franklin, okay? Promise? Yeah, don't worry about me. Just bring me back a cool souvenir. <laughs> Actually, I have something for you. Take good care of it. What is it? Something special and groundbreaking. Oh, really? That's what I heard. I've got to go now. Dad? Yeah? Is there anything you need to tell me? Bye, son. I take this, and then I use it to trick the police. That's the plan, right? Precisely. This way, people will have no doubt at all that Limo is the villain. Very clever. Anyone but an evil genius would be totally confused right now. Still, why make everything so complicated? It was Angela's idea. She's been handling the slug bots. Oh, really? Oh, great. I'd better get back to work then. Toodaloo. <laughs> Time to start talking. Where are the slug bots being manufactured? Yeah, I want to know too. What? I'd like to know who made them and what their motives are. Oh, really? Okay. So that's how you're gonna play it. Denying everything! <laughs> Drive properly, will ya? Sorry, sir. Officer O stopped suddenly. Excuse me, is something the matter? I'll need you to move your car to the side of the road. I can't. It's broken down. Oh, that can be so frustrating. Maybe we can help. Officer, everything okay? This poor man's car just broke down. Maybe we can give him a push. Nah, that's not our job. He'll just have to get a tow truck. I'm sorry, sir, but we have to keep moving. Well, that might be tricky. You don't recognize me, but actually, this is a setup. <laughs> Fooled you. Hey, dum-dums. I ran away? P.S. This is Limo! What happened here? Uh-oh. Guys, why are they all sitting so quietly? They're too shocked to say anything to each other. It's hard to believe Dr. Kwan planned his escape from the police. He really seemed to have changed. I think something's up. Why would he turn himself in just to run away again? Hey, what do you think, Z? We don't know for sure what happened out there. That's what I say. Come on, let's cheer up. How about I make nachos for dinner? Okay, that sounds good. I mean... <sighs> no thanks, I'm not hungry. Uh, hey, Dad, how do you feel? Limo's your best friend. I'm all right. I'm more worried about Dylan. 
He's going home tomorrow, right? Yeah. Let's be kind and make sure he's comfortable. And now, they all think that your dad is the bad guy. That's what I heard. Dr. Char might believe that, but Ryan and Corey wouldn't. Ryan and Corey were the first ones to suspect him. They don't trust him. What? It's too bad. You and I are the only ones who still think he's innocent. So what are we gonna do now? Don't worry. There must be a reason for all this. Something's not right. Wow, you really bought this for me? Well, it's from a friend of mine. Oh, hang on. His friend. Angela. Everybody keep him distracted, okay? Got it. He never turns down a good board game. And I can bust a move. No, that's just depressing. Come on, guys. Just act normal. <laughs> hmm. Hey, Angela, get out of here. Huh? Huh? There. That's her. This is Angela. So she went to the same robotics college as you and my dad did? Uh-huh. I believe they've kept in touch. Do you know where she lives? No, not anymore. Tell me, Dylan, why do you want to know? Maybe I can help you. Well, you see... And now they all think your dad is the bad guy. That's what I heard. Uh, I just remembered something my dad said about a friend he wanted me to meet. Oh, I see. <laughs> anyway, we were all hoping you would stay with us for a while. No, thanks. I'll be fine. My grandma's staying with us now. Hmm. Okay. But you'll eat with us? Sure. Cheer up. Promise? Promise. <clears throat> Hello, Angela. Hello, Angela. Uh... Angela speaking. Hello? Anybody? Yes, hello there. I'm the mailman. I'm delivering a package. But I can't find your address. Can you please confirm it? There's a package for me? I'm not expecting anything. Uh... Who's it from? Uh... It's from... The Dado College of Engineering. Oh, really? All right. Hmm... Um... Deliver it to my boxing club. <sighs> Success! I just got back from our little mission. That was very well done. Thank you. Question. Why'd you want me to leave him at the old Boorung Motors building? Why not watch him over here? Because that building is at the center of our plan. Aha! Well, I must say I love what you've done with it. It looks totally different now. What's our plan? Do I get to put on more disguises? We make Limo into the city's worst villain. What? I'm supposed to be the worst villain. And you will be, rest assured. Just consider this. No one knows where Limo is. Meanwhile, as the replica of his old robot creates chaos, people will naturally assume Limo is to blame. Franklin will no longer trust him. The two brilliant engineers will no longer be a team. As a result, Ryan and Corey will naturally drift apart from their friend Dylan. And ultimately, the Tobots will be weakened and divided. In summary, turning Limo into a villain will break up the Tobot team. When that happens, Angela hopes to convince Limo to work with us. Now, do you understand? <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> that sounds pretty straightforward to me. In fact, I was thinking the same thing. Okay, it's time. Huh? <gasps> when did you come home? We went to the hospital. Oh, sorry. Here, this is my favorite game. Have it. Really? Thanks a lot. You must be kind of worried, but we wanted to make sure you have some fun. So come on, let's set it up and we'll show you how to play. I can't, I gotta go somewhere. Maybe some other time. What do you mean? You just got home this morning. Your leg probably still needs rest. Dylan, come on! He's right. Why don't we stay inside? I need to know. Do you... do you trust my dad? Huh? Hmm. Wait! 
Uh, just forget it. I'm out of here. Hold on! Dylan! You ready? Yeah. Shouldn't we be putting Limo to work? Now listen. Treat him nicely. We want Angela to convince him to work for us. <laughs> and who do we have here? I bet you never thought this day would come. Limo Kwan is still wanted by the police. The deputy chief announced that the force is doing everything they can to catch the suspect. Guys, Dylan's acting weird. What makes you say that? He's never home, and I don't know where he goes. So now you're accusing him. We're not. We just want to see what he's up to. Excuse me, miss. Who, me? I hope you can help me. Do you know someone named Angela? Angela. I have to say I don't. And I know all of our members. But hey. Maybe I can answer your question. Probably not. Well then, good luck finding her. But... Oh. You see, I realized it's not about being a good guy or a bad guy. What's important is power and the chance to use it. Doesn't it feel amazing to have power? You can still join us if you want to. Forget it. There's no way. Well, just give it some thought. You have nothing else to do in there.